The stripped underside of the wire allows a current to flow through the loop. Since the loop is in a magnetic field, these moving charges feel forces, as we discussed in the last episode. Charges moving to the right at the top of the loop feel a push into the screen, while charges moving to the left at the bottom of the loop feel a push out of the screen. These forces work to turn the coil. When this happens, the insulated portion of the wire turns as well blocking the current through the loop and eliminating the turning forces. The loop then coasts through a full turn, ending up where it began. The whole thing starts over again.